Hargreaves, the subject of Khan's ire in the midweek, starts Mackay and Santa Cruz up top. For Leverkusen, Hanyok Butt, he's finally found his form that has escaped him last year. Juwan and Lucio quickly becoming the best center back combo in the league, especially offensively where they find the back of the net regularity. And Franza, along with Oliver Neubel up front, Franza four assists this year, finally paying dividends after that big move from Sao Paulo. We look at the table, there's Leverkusen, just one defeat on this season to Bochum, 12 points, two more than Bayern Munich in fifth. Wolfsburg, Hanover, Bochum rounding out the top half of the table. Freiburg beginning the second half, followed by Schalke. Rostock, who we'll see tomorrow against Hamburg, who are currently bottom of the table. The Oktoberfest Beer Festival begins this weekend. All smiles, and why not? Bayern Munich, a big victory over Celtic in the midweek in the Champions League. Franz Beckenbauer has to admit that felt good. Roy Mackay getting two goals late secure the victory as they try to make amends from last year's early Champions League exit. But today it's round six of the Bundesliga. We're underway. Bayern Munich in the red kits with the white sleeves. Leverkusen in the all white. Bayer Leverkusen have lost their last nine matches at the Olympic Stadium. Their last victory, 1-0 win back in 1989 with Leverkusen boss Klaus Augenthaler playing Libero for Bayern Munich. That's how long it's been. Of course, there's a good history between these two sides with Bayer finishing second in the Bundesliga to Bayern Munich three times in the last decade. Of course, the most heartbreaking for Bayern fans was the 99-2000 campaign when they lost the title on goal difference, falling to Unterhaki, Munich neighbors, on the final day. Oliver Kahn coming to light this week now that he has eye problems to go with his ear infection that he's been battling since June. It's kept Oliver Kahn from flying as he missed a preseason friendly match in England against Newcastle. Look at Bern Schneider. Being the professional fouls, we look at the Bayern Munich bench. Demi Kiles, the Argentine. Pizarro, the fellow South American. Tobias Rau, who's been starting. Hassan Salihamidzic, a very deep bench. How about Labor who's at Jens Novotny knocking on the first team door after two successive knee injuries the last couple years have stunted his career. He's back in the fold and pushing for a spot in the center of defense, but Juan and Lucio making it very difficult. Those two have combined for three Leverkusen goals already. And Juan, two of them. Here's Balak. Trying to slip it through. Quickly picked up by Zay Roberto. Of course, Balak and Zay Roberto, former Leverkusen players, their second full season in Munich after leaving Leverkusen. A physical and fast start to this one is Robert Kovac. Gets caught on the ball, but the whistle bails him out. There's coach Klaus Augenthaler. Took over for Leverkusen at the end, helped him avoid relegation. Called Bayern Munich this past week in the German press, his living room. Dating back to the time he spent here. Seven titles for Eigenthaler. His Bayern Munich career. Good ball by Mackay to Santa Cruz. Balak helps swing it. Now it finds Lizarazu. He plays it forward in stride to Zay Roberto. The two lefties combining. Zay Roberto gets around Bern Schneider. Gets his cross off on the ground. Lizarazu tried to flick it with the back heel. That's a good early ball out looking for Franca, the Brazilian cut off. And Linka all the way back to Khan. Khan has conjunctivitis, which has gotten worse. And he woke up with blurred vision this past week. But it was acupuncture that helped him for the time being. The specialists continue to look into the matter. We get another foul here.
Fallon, the reigning two-time German Football of the Year. And the yellow card, I should tell you, our referee, Florian Meyer, 34 years of age from Bergdorf. Bundesliga referee since 1998, the FIFA referee since 2002. And he hands Juan the first card of the contest. And a first check of the out-of-town scores, Freiburg. Zlatan Baramovic has scored, giving them the lead against Schalke, which continue to struggle. Wolfsburg on the heels of their 3-2 victory for Bayern Munich. Getting a goal from Vilaskov. They lead 1-0 at Cologne. Fifth minute here at the Olympic Stadion. Jose Roberto on the set piece. First of the match in a dangerous spot for Bayern Munich. A good one. Looking for Mackay and Santa Cruz. Owen Hargreaves to Robert Kovac. She floats a lazy ball back in. That's going to get Hanjurk butt off his line. Poor punch. The clear straight to Lizarazu. Quick turn in that header. Gets it away for the time being. Bayern Munich keeping the pressure on. Nodded back by Bastian Schweinsteiger. 19 years of age, making his name the first team. Owen Hargreaves. Linka. Croatian international Robert Kovac to French international Willy Sagnol. Sagnol's ball put away by Brazilian Lucio at the edge of the D. Now Zay Roberto. Schweinsteiger again. Zay Roberto making a good room. Ball pulled back. Deflected. Unintentional back pass. Zay Roberto looking for the indirect in the box. He won't get it. Zay Roberto, one goal already on the season. In fact, scored the first goal of the Bundesliga campaign, number 40 in its history, as we've been saying throughout the course of the campaign. And that 1-0 victory over Frankfurt. I should say 3-1 victory over Frankfurt to start the campaign, the curtain raiser. Oliver Neuville under some pressure from behind. Can't blame Bern Schneider. Drives one over the top for Mackay. Big bounce and skip away from the Dutchman, who did well to keep it in, but he outran his support. Well, Mackay justified his 18 million dollar, 18 million euro, I should say, price tag. Those two goals in Champions League, that is what he does. 29 goals in La Liga in Spain, certainly a big feat, but the nine goals he scored in the Champions League for Deportivo La Coruña last year, including two he scored against Bayern Munich in this stadium, is what precipitated the move here. So he's got three goals in his last two outings now. Expect him to be red hot one more time. They're looking for him again on the pullback. The ball from Schweinsteiger blocked, but he kept it in. Good ball on the ballot the first time left for the Valley. Twenty-seven-year-old Balak will be twenty-eight on the twenty-sixth in a few days. One goal and one assist in four Bundesliga matches so far. Twenty-nine-year-old Hans Jörg Boat. Played in every match so far for Leverkusen, as you might expect. Leverkusen do have two clean sheets already in their first five. The lone defeat coming at Bochum. Diego Rodolfo Placente, Carson Ramelow, Leverkusen haven't had much possession. The Leverkusen captain caught on the ball. They filter to Kovac. Good ball to Balik. Lays it off to Hargreaves. Now Balik across midfield. And in between ball, good tackle. Well played by Sanyo on the end to win it back. Balik wants a touch, and he gets one. Hargreaves. Oliver Kahn saved his... Harshest criticism for Hargreaves after that 3-2 loss to Wolfsburg last weekend. As Hargreaves continues to replace the injured Jens Jeremies. And Kahn had said that Hargreaves runs around too much. He doesn't have the discipline or the stability to play in front of the defense. He mentioned that we now see the importance of Jeremies. Hargreaves, of course, took the high road. Hitzfeld 
declined to find Khan, which he's done to players for speaking out in the press because he felt like as a captain, Khan gets special privileges. And that story was the primer for the revelation this week that Chelsea had put in a strong bid for Hargreaves at the end of the summer right after Roman Abramovich who by the way has got a fantastic life story the new Chelsea boss going to buy everyone and that one's in the back of the net from Ramelo Ramelo fools Ali Khan and his low daisy cutter finds the back of the net and Leverkusen take the lead First goal of the campaign for Ramelo. Oliver Nuvo will get the assist. It was nothing fancy by any means. Khan couldn't get there in time. He took a touch and prepare it. And Ramelo scores the 16th goal of his Bundesliga career. And this is 235th match. And the omens weren't for Leverkusen coming in, but the sun is shining here in Bavaria, and maybe it's shining on Leverkusen who have the early lead. Now the Bayern Munich response. Balak. Well, he tried to dribble through Schneider. And Berdovka. Berdovka gets a quick lecture. Of course, used to play his games here. Munich born. To play for 1860, second season with Leverkusen. Here's Balak, it opens up for him. And he got greedy, couldn't pull the trigger. Hargreaves recuperates. Sagnol, first time ball on the ground. Well, oh, red by Juan, the former Flamengo center back. Close one to Oliver Nouvel. Balak, he's Taking over the playmaking duties. Still probing. Hargreaves not in position to get it. He drops back in. Support for Sanyol. Okay, Santa Cruz making just his second appearance in the Bundesliga this season. Sanyol, a no look in. Tight ball for Santa Cruz. Good run on the back by Berovka. Good win by Balak. Zay Roberto helping him out as well. Will find its way over the near sideline for a Bayern Munich throw. Thirty-three-year-old Linka. Balak getting plenty of touches, surveying the field. Sanyol not making a run down the right. Alizarazu. Zay Roberto the one-two. Alizarazu one more on the ground. Berovka was there. Leverkusen very compact defensively. Robson Polcha is first touch for a Wolfsburg striker. Schneider blocked by Lizarazu, hint of a handball, and that is the call here in minute 13. Everyone wondering if Leverkusen will be a real title challenger as they seem to be every other year just the last decade or so so far their form has been very good at the Bay Arena where they've won three or four and now comes the sternest test on the road this season having won at Frankfurt and lost at Bochum already Kovac. They reverse them. That's a scamper to keep it in. David Guzman a year ago, mid table in terms of their away form. Five wins, four draws, eight defeats. 20 goals, 428 against. Dario Rodriguez, Jordan Guine International's level for Schalke. One all at Freiburg. Hertha. 
Getting a goal from Zanka. Andy Neuendorf with the lead. Welcome 1-0. Heard the struggling for goals in the relegation zone. The beginning of round six. The corner in from Bayern Munich. The first of the match for them. Sanyol collects it on the other side. Franza. Turn. Sanyol. Good work. The Frenchman racing in. Franza better though as he won the tackle from behind. 50-50 ball. Good little move. The former Sao Paulo midfielder. Holding it now. Willing to take the foul if he can get it. He surrenders possession. Hargreaves. He's caught on the ball. Lucente mixing it up. It finally ends up as a Leverkusen throw. Giveaway. Balak lost his footing, lost the ball. But it's a goal kick. Here's the goal again. Oliver Neuville. No one closes Ramelow. And very rarely will you see Oliver Kahn beat from that angle. The shot from outside the area. The German international Ramelow. With Rudy Bowler in attendance. Labor two is in the lead. Leverkusen finish 15th. Dead last. They take away the relegation teams. 16 defeats a year ago. They did manage 11 wins. Scored only 47 goals a year ago. goals here this season as they look well, certainly to pass that mark of course they were looking to fill the void of Balak and Zay Roberto combined for 21 goals and 24 assists the season prior I don't care who you are that is tough to replace Past the quarter hour mark here at the Olympus Stadion. A subdued crowd now after Ramelow's opener. Flick met by heavy right-footed clearance from Lucio. Hargreaves doesn't get a touch on it. Finds Paraguay National Santa Cruz. Roberto wants a touch. And Hargreaves. They can get it changed. Ballant opening himself up to the near side, trying to come this way. It was deflected. The destination for Schweinsteiger and Schneider to boot. Leverkusen gave up 56 goals a year ago. Clubs gave up more. Two of them relegated Nuremberg and Cottbus. Hanover gave up 57, and Bochum gave up 56, the same number. So far this season, Leverkusen just three goals allowed. Have not allowed more than one goal in a match yet. Ball for Santa Cruz. Mackay making a run. Schweinsteiger as well. Headed away by Lucio. World Cup winner for Brazil. Hit first time ball by Schweinsteiger. Cross from Lizarazu to Juan. Hargreaves straight into the air. Ballant. Schweinsteiger trying to play it toward the corner. He did. Two big bounces and out of play for a goal kick. There's Jens Jeremies. His family. The knee injuries kept him out of the mix here. Missed the match against Scotland as well. The German national team. Minnesota Scholl and Sebastian Deisler ruled out up to three weeks with the thigh injuries respectively. Of 
coach Alexander Ziegler who broke his tibia at the beginning of the campaign is still on the injured list. Schweinsteiger, he's been a handful. Pulls it back sharply. Get to Cruz. Oh, what a tackle by Juan. Hargreaves, now Byron Mini beginning to find their rhythm. England International Hargreaves. Jose Roberto, one of Brazil's World Cup qualifying squad last week. Two weeks, I should say, now. Hargreaves keeps it moving. Directing traffic. Daniel Balak, he's been so active across blocks. Byron winning a lot of the second balls and loose balls. Possession in Leverkusen's half throughout. Lovely one, two. The pass too many legs on it. Lucio takes it. And his first little four way forward. Brief for Bonovka. With the draw of the foul. Got it under control. It's Schneider. He's still the double pass. Boot. Good header back to Khan. The Kaiser. Beckenbauer. And now very stoic. At the cruise, was he fouled by Ponch? No. Here's Lucio, another 4 8 forward. This is where he's so dangerous. The ball out wide will be out of the reach of Oliver Nubu, who I thought throttled down there. Maybe could have kept it in play. That was a promising run. Lovely ball over the top. Mackay. Corner kick. Zipasani enchanting his name for the first time in his Bayern Munich career on Wednesday. His goals in minute 73 and 86. Preventing Celtic from getting a famous victory on the eve of Oktoberfest. Away by Diego Rodolfo Placente, Oliver Neuville, Poncha, Berovka, turns, Juan, get out. Thanks for Ponce. Lazy on the dribble for someone to play with. He's happy with the lack of movement in front of him. Gets caught on the ball. Now it's Santa Cruz again. Cruz weaving, good run by Lizarazu. He'll change the attack with that run. Good ball, the bike. Jose Roberto, well, I tell you what, you got to be low to the ground to pull that off. Wasn't much air underneath this one. Athletic Jose Roberto, though, got something toward goal. The halfway point of the first half. Look at it again. Even electric, to say the least. Again, well, there was not much air underneath that ball, and he did very well to react so quickly. Nice slide tackle. Go 
Babbage. This is a very industrious Augenthaler side, as you might expect. A man that played Libero. His gut instincts will always tell him to defend first. Let's see how deep they're sitting back. The front runners, they're trying to keep the field as compact as possible against this Bayern Munich team. Gone is a free-flowing attack of the top molar era here at Leverkusen. Short but sweet. Leverkusen only one season removed from that treble of runners-up finishes. The German Cup, the Bundesliga, and of course the Champions League. They fell to Real Madrid. Now the European football this year would love to get back in for next season. Not a bad ball! Ho, ho, ho! Guess who? Roy McCott! 1-1. One, one. It was only a matter of time. He has big shoes to fill for Giovanni Elber now at French Champions Lyon. Look at this cross. And look at this finish. Bang, no chance. Thanks for coming. It's fourth goal this last three outings. It's fourth goal this week. The Dutchman flying high and he quickly gets Bayern Munich level again. And we're tied at a goal of heat. Second Bundesliga goal. Lejonis can help but flash a bit of a wry smile. Contract talks with Depor and Bayern Munich were like a poker game. They went back and forth, back and forth. No one wanted to show their hand. In the end, Bayern calling Depor's bluff by paying the 18 million euros. Willie Mackay had said the only club he wanted to move to was Bayern Munich. Gave Deportivo not much leverage. But in the end, it's the deal has worked out for everyone. At least at this point. With Mackay. 1v1. Lucio nipping at his heels. Oh, is this going to be a penalty? It is! Schweinziger quick to react. Lucio left out a lazy foot. And Florian Meyer is already handing out one yellow. Hand on the trigger, ready to add someone else to the book. Watch it again. It was that left knee of Lucio. Right there. And that caught Schweinziger clearly in the area. Florian Meyer, a very deliberate whistle. And just before the half hour, there's the contact. Too much in the area. Maybe Lucio didn't have to make that tackle of Placente giving cover. So Bayern Munich trying to go from a goal down to a goal ahead in a matter of minutes. Balak with one goal on the season in the league. Oh, and it remains that way as Hanjorg Boots makes the save. It wasn't well hit by Balak. And remember that moment. Write it down, minute 28. The missed penalty opportunity. The Leverkusen getting the brakes, maybe, to end this long, long barren spell. The Olympus Stadium. 1989, the last time they won here. Ramelow, the Leverkusen goal scorer to Placente. Former River Plate player, Sanyol. The Monaco man, and there'll be a Bayern Munich throw in. The crowd ready to erupt. Balak. Oh, look at the move by Boots, went hard to the left, the jab step, good extension, 
Strong hand. Kept it out. Tomas Christensen, last year's joint scorer with Giovanni Elber, 21 goals, has added his name to the score sheet. 1-0 against Mucha Gladbach, who's struggling. Martin Petron makes it 2-0 for Wolfsburg, who are following up that victory over Bayern Munich with a strong performance on the road. We've reached the half-hour mark here. Bayern Munich 1, Leverkusen 1. Carson Ramelow opened the scoring with his first goal of the campaign. And Mackay added his fourth goal in a week to tie the score for Bayern Munich. And just a couple minutes ago, Schweinsteiger, that end right there, was fouled in the area by Lucio. But Balak had his penalty saved by Boots. And that is where we're at. Just one card so far issued, and that went to Juan of Leverkusen. Ransa, Grodovka, great on the ball, great dribbler, got it through the legs of Balak, but that is it. De Roberto on that left peg, Balak, Santa Cruz, that's a step on Placente, who slows it down, De Roberto, couple step overs, one more to elude Poncho. Played by Zay Roberto Hargreen. Keeps it simple. Little ball. Makai showing his strength. Got it out left to Lizarazu. Lizarazu trying to get the corner. Cuts inside. Had his feet taken out from underneath them. Takes a whack at Schneider. No call both times. Here's Poncha. Good move inside. Plays it early. Oliver Newville's first touch. Let him down. Khan has it. Mr. Hargreen's done. Good win from behind. The fittest players in the league. Now we get a little off the ball tussle. Boy, Meyer not happy with Placente. Takes his medicine and keeps on walking. Snyder. Two versus three. He's going to get there. It does, but look at that tackle from guess who? Hargreaves. He is covering the ground. Kenny Oliver Kahn as the captain, pulling some strings and pushing some buttons. Kenny Hargreaves to pay a bit more attention to detail on his defensive duties. So far, he's been very good. And his ball winning in this match in the middle third. De Roberto. Hargreaves. Ballant. Look at this. Santa Cruz. Look at the tackle from Lucio. Skips through one challenge. He's an outstanding player. Lucio, one of the best in the world. Roma made a serious bid for his service. It looked like Leverkusen were willing to part ways, but decided better. And the yellow card it goes to Balak. Might have been for something he said. He wasn't involved in the initial challenge. Maybe still frustrated on that penalty miss. Balak is second yellow of the season. He's not afraid to get into the books. Poncha. Marco Babic, not a bad ball. The header! 2-1! Babic picked out Franza. Leverkusen reclaimed the lead at 2-1. Here it is again. Oliver Neubel wins it. Poncha plays the way he's facing. 
And look at the header from France. Great ball by Babich. His fourth assist of the season in the header. Easily beats Khan, who wasn't even in the fray. This match already providing all the twists and turns we expected. Ten minutes away from the end of half number one, and Balak has gotten rid of that headband. Not providing him any luck here. Leverkusen for the second time have a one goal advantage. That's the second goal. His Schurz has scored for Cologne. They trail now 2 1 to Wolfsburg. Well, the Bayern Munich defense taking a hit. Three goals last weekend against Wolfsburg. Two goals already for Leverkusen this weekend. Got to say, maybe the defense not as good as it was a year ago. Hanover scored three goals already this season. There's a chance for a third, and Khan takes matters into his own hands. Gets out a couple of barks and gets his punt away. So funny how life works. You go around pointing fingers, as he did to Hargreaves this past week, and it's Khan the one. He's let two into the back of the net. in memory with Euro 2004. Look at this. This thing isn't any good. His idea was to wear it. Virovka! Well, I tell you what, Poncha came flying in there late. Nearly side put it home a third. Oh, a foul from behind on Kovac. The frustration is out. Kovac could go on the books with this tackle behind on Franca. And he does. Well, I tell you what, what a difference a year makes. Or less than a year. Got a good piece of the ball in his left foot before he came through from behind. And Leverkusen, who split the two games with Bayern Munich a year ago, never posed any problems for anyone on the top half of the table. Looks like it's Hargreaves getting some treatment. With the cut being taken care of. Bayern Munich playing with Tan Schneider on the ground. Poncha deflected through. Kahn can scoop it up and does. Coach Hitzfeld. over the reins. Olympic championship winning coach here in the Bundesliga in the decade of the 90s to now. Dortmund. Back to back titles and of course we all know what he's done here at Bayern Munich as Hargreaves is back in. Getting some treatment for that cut. Throwing aside the full strength. He turns off a foul on Ramelow inside the center circle. Balak on the quick restart to lose the Razzle. Say Roberto. Ballant turns. Sagnol jumping into the attack. Takes a touch. Looks to get his cross off and does. Not a bad one and it's straight. The Schweinsteiger. He can't get over the top of that cross from Sagnol. Great ball. Good numbers in the box for Bayern. Kobashvili has scored for Schalke. They now lead 2-1 in their match. Schalke 
They're one of the toughest teams to beat year in, year out in the Bundesliga, but not a team that posts many victories. They get their fair share of draws. Babich nearly took it away from Sanyol. Kovac. Ballot. Not by Schweinsteiger. Plays and moves. Sanyol. Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz with Hargreaves Square. Hargreaves takes a look behind him. Bypass of Lizarazu for Zay Roberto. Lizarazu on his bike. Zay Roberto staring him down. Two play very well together, and Ramelo is going to go into the books. And Zay Roberto not happy. The former Leverkusen teammates. Look at Zizarazu going chin to chest of Ramelo. Two yellow cards apiece now. Ramelo joining Juan in the books. And look at that. Zay Roberto, I thought, could have went in the books right there as well. His retaliation goes unpunished. Five minutes remaining in half number one. Oh, to the right hook, huh, gets it away. Wants to go to keep it in. Kovac, not a bad ball, flicked on. De Roberto, room for the first time, cross. Good one, the header! Santa Cruz, so strong in the air. First time knock finds De Roberto. The strength of Santa Cruz. Oh yes, tennis anyone? Boris Becker, far left in the glasses. Now in the sports management business. It's like just about all Germans, a foosball fanatic. Looking for Roy Mackay. Got the lone by Munich goal. Schneider. Ramelo. Gerdovka. Tackle from his opposite number. Balance is already in the book, so he'll have to keep his thoughts to himself. Ramelo. Tidy turn. Balance goes. Keeps him heading in the negative direction. Schneider has been quiet offensively. Back to boot. Well off his line, out of his box. Good win by Lizarazu. Santa Cruz. He gets around Lucio. Oh, and he tried to cut it back. And then look at this. And Lucio could be in some trouble. Warren Meyer doing a good job getting in between those two. Santa Cruz not going to back down to the Brazilian. South American pride at stake. Looks like it was a clean battle until... Lucio decided to cut off Santa Cruz. Wants it again. Santa Cruz just chugging after it. And <laughs> Lucio just holds his ground. Trying to send a message for the second half. Good sportsmanship in the end. We both very far away from home. Santa Cruz battled ankle injuries. The most part of this year, training. Also battled foot problems most of last season, had surgery. And since, come back to full fitness. Inside the final two minutes of half, number one, Bayern Munich. Finding themselves in a rare position. Trailing here at home. Schweinziger dribbles through one tackle. Trying to slip it through. Lucio got a foot to it. Zay Roberto hawking the cross. Good touch. Good turn. 
Lucio the tackle, still alive, Schweinsteiger out of the reach of Balak. Sanyol cuts inside, left foot a shot deflected. And I tell you what, Boots was very vulnerable on the ground. He was able to get to the deflection in time. He was out of position, very fortunate. 45th minute. Rodolfka. Wilkinson had a couple looks for a third goal. Well taken by Zay Roberto. Here's a chance for Mario Minnick to steal some momentum. Makai gets back on side. Now the ball in over the top. Oh, and Lucio was there. Great positioning. Flatter inside the circle. Schweinziger, the guilty party. Babich, who set up the France of goal, takes the foul. Razu's ran to stop his time now. It's getting very chippy out there. We've seen the bad blood in the tempers flare here at the end of the half. And Leverkusen. Right now, getting the better of Bayern Munich. Kolcha, no hard feelings. Kolcha, another Brazilian. What a neat player. His second stint with Leverkusen. His first stint in Germany was with Leverkusen. Before going to Wolfsburg and then back to his old haunts. One minute of stop time indicated by the fourth official. That minute is nearly up. Boots squeezing out some clock here. Keen to keep his side in front at the break. And that is where we're at halftime here at the Olympus Stadium. An upset, maybe. Hard to say with Leverkusen leading the Bundesliga after five rounds. They're leading Bayern Munich here by a score of 2-1. We'll be back with the halftime happenings after the break. Stay with us. Bayern Munich developing habits they're not accustomed to for the third time this season. In six matches, they trail after 45 minutes of action as Ali Khan trying to talk to Robert Kovac in front, try to sort out the defensive problems as Bayern Munich have conceded five goals their last three halves of football. Five goals allowed for them is like a month and a half usually worth of goals in the Bundesliga, but the case today, much different. And so far this season, been a bit of a different script as well as Bayern Gunn for their fifth Bundesliga title in six seasons. Florian Meyer, our referee, handed out two yellow cards apiece in half number one. Bayern Munich will start with the ball. Here is half number two. It's just about set to get underway. 1989, the last time Leverkusen won here at Bayern Munich. Only Bremen beat Bayern Munich here last year. I'm Alan Hopkins. Half number two is underway. As always, so glad you could join us. For a couple weeks off, the Bundesliga once again in full effect. Good matches last weekend in round five and so far here in round six. The fixture of the round, Bayern Munich and Bayern Leverkusen, not disappointing. We get some lingering effects of the first half here in half number two. Vicente and Schweinsteiger getting the lecture this time around from Florian Meyer. Leverkusen won four of five to start the campaign. One put away by Juwan as it fell in between a pair of Bayern Munich attackers. Willy Sagnol had gotten into the attack as well. Watch it again here. Juwan, look at the back heel to get it away. Excellent clearance. Poncha, maybe only a Brazilian can pull that off. Even a long way from home. 
Ball inside for Schneider. And it's given away. Linka. Senyol. Schweinziger. Good tackle by Placente. It appears both teams are unchanged. There's a bench is settling in here for half number two. Juan. Robson Poncha. Really took the place of Jan Simak, who's now on loan back at Hanover. He struggled a year ago to make the grade at the Bay Arena. Ramelow scored the first goal of the match back in minute 10. Verovka. Played to Schneider, who took the foul. Juan to Placente. Franza. His goal separating the two clubs. Schneider inside. Berovka. Poncha. Slip through. Poncha. Lift it. Delude Bezinti Lizarazu. Oliver Nuvo. Had the assist on the Ramelow goal. They're trying to connect again, those two. But this time the shot weaker and no problem at all for Khan. Exchange of giveaways. Sees Bayern Munich on it again. Zayra Berkel. Hargreaves. Good ball on the ground. Ooh, look at that touch from Santa Cruz. Getting away toward the end line. He gets his cross off. And the fire put out by Placente. Corner kick by a minute. What a slick move from Santa Cruz. And here's the end of that sequence. Getting the better of Lucio. The cross over the head of Boots. And then the clearance from Placente. First corner of the half for Bayern. Schweinsteiger. The header back in near the penalty spot. Enough of a clearance from Placente. Hargreaves wins it back. Gets it back from Schweinziger. He's improved his crossing. He wouldn't know at that time. He left it short for Schneider. Linka. Taken away from behind by Poncha. Early ball offside. First of the match. And it goes to Franza. in the frame for the Brazilian national team. The last build up to the 2002 World Cup. Eight caps for the Selly Sal. Good run by Xavier Berthel to create space for Santa Cruz. Double team, Schneider, Lucio clears it away. Well worked that time by those two. The throw in, Xavier Berthel. Daniel Square, not really angled to get it. He finally moves, and he's picked out by Hargreaves. Good ball, and Juan again. The corner's piling up for Bayern Munich to start this half. Five minutes in. Quality service from the French International. Daniel will leave it. Schweinsteiger took the last corner. Donald Lise Roberto, left footer in swinger, down in the area, it's loose. Oh, it had eyes. Zay Roberto pulls it back. Kovac, his shot blocked. Over Leverkusen defender and a goal kick in the end. whistling at the referee for that call. Maybe some of those whistles are for their team as well. They're trying to help spur them on. Come from behind for a second time in this match. Makai filters out to the right. Gets it now. Good crosser. 
Working on Placente. Show them too much of the ball. 50-50 ball. Look at Sagnol. Excellent stuff for the Frenchman. Sagnol pulls it back. Oh, and it's touched away by Ramelo. Hargreaves, poor first touch. He got a foot to it. He's so quick, he wins it back. Kovac. Sagnol. Makai gets his cross off this time. Ramelo heads it away near the top of the box. Hargreaves header. A big bounce. No problem at all. For Boot. who's been quiet in this half after dictating the tempo in the first half. De Roberto, was he fouled? He was. Annabelle Matayana has been sent off for Schalke. They still trail 2-1. Hargreaves. I mentioned earlier he's improved his crossing. He's really improved his ball striking, particularly on dead ball situations like this. Some time hanging around David Beckham, the English national team has helped. Here's Hargreaves. But that one got away. Tyler said openly this week he wants to win in his old stomping grounds. The living room as he calls it. Place he knows so well. I can tell you right now getting much of the credit for Leverkusen's revival this season. Coaches oftentimes get too much of the credit and too much of the blame. Not bad for a man fired by relegated Nuremberg. Landed on his feet very well. Good ball in. It falls in the air for a moment. The takeover. And calmly handled the end by Lucio Placente. Look at Hargreaves. He's doing his job. Maybe he'll escape the wrath of Khan this time around. Here's Novotny. Will we see him today? Up short of the fence. Maybe. The score line holding up. De Roberto. The ball to Balak. On the ground for Mackay. Foot race here. He won by Boots. Juwan and Mackay step for step. What a great through ball from Balak. Trying to do his best to help Bayern Munich transition out of the Giovanni Elber era. Elber, the best Bundesliga import ever. In terms of goal scoring, over 120 in his career. And as you would know it, you may not know, Bayern Munich's Champions League group you may have figured out now, includes Leon. So Elber will get a crack at his old foes, and I'm sure we'll get a warm reception when he comes back here to Olympus Stadion in the Champions League Group 1 stage. Claude Bissau has gotten the nod from Hitzfeld, and it will be sooner than later. See if he goes with a three-prong attack, or he goes straight replacement for Santa Cruz. I mentioned in the open playing just his second match of the campaign. Get the 
scored a point for Paraguay International. Battled through ankle and foot injuries. Poor clearance. Kovac. Good cross. The header. Still alive. Santa Cruz. His shot blocked. Zay Roberto still keeping it alive. Still no call. And finally, the flag is up. And a red card. What is this for? Well, Florian Myers surrounded by most of the Bayern Munich team. Zay Roberto showing the straight red card. As it looks like he might have gotten tangled up with fellow Brazilian international Lucio. Here it is again. The poor ball right there by Bambic sets it up. Kovac took something off this cross. Zé Roberto went over the back of Bern Schneider. And he was offside as he was on all fours. And it's for that kick right there that he gets sent off. Boy, Florian Meyer. A bit harsh. So the comeback bid takes a knock. And Schweitzer gets a player to come off for Pissarro. I think this is more of the result of the red card. So it might have been Santa Cruz, the player, to come off. Hard to know at this point. The so 10 man. Byron Munich. See if they have the primer needed for the comeback. Roberto will miss the next match way up north against Hansa Rolskog next weekend. Red card of the season for Bayern Munich. Ball bounced in and held on to by Boots. <laughs> Bremen in 1860. A goal apiece. Marcus Stroth has tied the match after Ailton, who signed a contract extension with Bremen this week. And he's paying its club. One all there in Bremen at the Wieser Stadium. By the way, that is the first red card in Zay Roberto's Bundesliga career. An hour in. Pissarro trying to get his cross off from the corner. Can't do it. 2-1 was the score at halftime. Goals for Leverkusen from Ramelo. And Franza offsetting the Mackay strike. Franza. Franza. Oh, here's a chance for Oliver Nubo. And he fires high. Leverkusen could have compounded matters for 10 men. Bayern Munich after Zay Roberto was sent off a couple moments ago. Going all over Newville. Very industrious striker. Off to a good start this season. Three goals this term. After managing just four a year ago. The one thing that's always hurt him is 
with inconsistent finishing, which has undermined his credibility as a striker. Ramelow. Bayern Munich sitting back here, collecting their breath. Good turn by Ponce. He's off to the races. The shot. And did Khan get a piece, or did it still hot? In the end, it was off the target, and another goal kick. A couple good chances for Leverkusen. They have the man advantage. Touches. Walked away by Bern Schneider. Good move. Cruz battling. Tussaro turned his back there. One ball short as Dimitar Berbatov is going to check in for Labor Cruz the next chance. Walked away by Lucio. Kovac will track down his own header. Zarazu, the one two, Zarazu, oh and the shot, didn't have anything on it but a great run for the man that's won quite a bit of hardware in his career for both club and country, Babich caught on the ball by Sanyol, Hargreaves takes away in the midfield, sparks a quick counter, four on four, Hargreaves to his left, the shot, two all. Roque Santa Cruz. His first goal of the campaign in just his second start. Goal number 21 of his career, and it starts with Hargreaves in the midfield, buzzing around again. Great job leading this attack. As soon as they step on him, he releases the Santa Cruz, cuts it back on Lucio, and curls in a great shot into the corner. Boot got a touch to it, but not nearly enough to keep it out. As we're level at two goals apiece in 10-man Bayern Munich. Against all odds, climbing uphill. Here at home, not done yet. It's funny how things work out. Santa Cruz is going to come off for Pissarro until the red card just before the substitution to Zay Roberto. Pittsfeld changed his mind, brought in Pissarro for Schweinziger, and it's Santa Cruz Still on the pitch, who scores a tying goal. Hargreaves, Lacan, Pissarro, the Peruvian, gives it away. Dimitar Berbatov wearing the number nine, vacated by the retirement of Oak Kirsten. He was with the team on the trip. The teams are holding a front office position. Oliver Nubo, the player, down. Sixth appearance. 
with that one assist this season. Six, 60th appearance for Leverkusen. with some space. And Lucio left that foot out there, but he draws a foul. Of those two would have locked horns in the World Cup final, but Ballant, as you may remember, was suspended. For Brazil's 2-0 victory. Lukic is going to check in. Lukic making his fourth appearance, all off the bench. First season with the club, Swiss international. Playing for Solna in Sweden. Also had a spell with Leeds United last year in the EPL. Good touch here. 3-2. Michael Bellick. Oh, what a comeback for 10-man Bayern Munich. From a man and a goal down to a goal in front. And look at the move by Bellick. And he puts a hole in the back of the net. What a strike by the German Football of the Year and Bayern Munich for the first time today have the lead. Second goal of the season for Balak. Forty-third in his career, and it's a great total for a central midfield player. He keeps adding to it. Look at the emotion. Flying high on goal number three for Bayern Munich. And now the match is turned. Hagenthaler shaking his head. Peter Hermann is assistant coach right next to him. Oh, Kirsten as well. before the match. Rudy Bowler settling into his seat. Reiner Kalman, Jurgen Kohler, the Leverkusen front office all making the trip here. Good move. Pissarro, ears pinned back. Pass one. He's got Mackay running with him. Finally called the ball and he tried to play it to Mackay in the end. <laughs> The strikers always say, I didn't know you were there. Wizarazi wins it back 20 minutes ago. Bayern Munich now in charge, looking for a fourth. That red card I was right. It was exactly the push Bayern Munich needed from behind. Good move here. Acceleration across. And the header by Samuel McCann, who has kept a clean sheet so far in half number two. Oh, look at this! What a tackle by Willie Sagnol, the 1 2, splitting the defense of Bayern Munich. Ramelow, Leverkusen, not done. 
headed away. Berbatov. Bulgarian. In the bump, 2001. Foggy. Really enjoyed great fan support with Nuremberg a year ago, although they're one of the worst teams in the Bundesliga from start to finish. We're relegated in the process. Good defense by Byron, but Berdomka comes out smelling good. Berbatov. Braun. Great. Joel Berton. <laughs> Has a couple words with the ball. Intensity, urgency. Con. So hard to be the captain and goalkeeper. Because your influence in the run of play is limited. Go on, you see the side footed shot. Bomb it all for Con. In 1v1 mode, Lukic to tackle, kept it in. Clarence, a good one. Good run out of the back. And good call. And Hitzfeld and Michael Hanka get off the bench. And the fourth official coming over to tell them to have a seat. Babbage, let's see. He had a good hold of Hargreaves. Could have went either way. Babbage caught on the ball. Daniel takes the touch foul. And he's telling everyone to calm down. And on the Bayern depth, so good. We get to bring in Hassan Salihamidzic to provide some fresh legs, and he's an outstanding player. To bring in off the bench the final quarter hour. He replaces Santa Cruz. Whose goal tied us at two. Paved the way for Balak. Right now, game winning strike. Today, he's made 
making his season debut. He will replace Daniel Bernofka, the former Bayern Munich man. He came up from 94 to 2000 with Bayern Munich. Didn't really crack into the first team, but he was 1860 for a couple seasons. Before moving to Leverkusen last year. So you'll arrive past Turk, who helped Turkey to the 2002 World Cup semis. Back here getting his first minutes of the Bundesliga campaign. He is a crucial figure in the attack when he's going well and focused. Um, the mental and emotional state is his worst enemy. Here's Poncha. Man coming in from behind. That's Ballot. Touched on. Long foot raise here. Khan will win it. Great wins here at home against Leverkusen. But not one since 1989, the last draw they've gotten in this series. Came back in December 1993. 24 previous meetings between these two clubs here in Munich. 18 wins for Bayern, four draws and two defeats. by Balak. He's raked down by Basturk, who gets the first yellow card of the season for him. Was it? it was Basturk right there. Well, he's not afraid to pick up yellow cards, that we know for sure. Picked up five yellows and a red. Or Zivkovic is now in the EPL for promoted Portsmouth at the club last year with nine yellows. But Roy Mackay here in minute 79 will come off. Big round of applause. His goal and tied the match and a goal apiece. Back in the first half, his fourth goal in three matches. What a week for him. He gets off the snide in a big way. Former Wolfsburg player, Tobias Rao. In the starting 11 at the start of the season. Comes in to help short the defense as Hitzfeld. Very smart here with 10 men. And although he's carried some of the play since David Bertha went out, and they've gotten the goal to go ahead. now to think about saving the result. Searching all half long. Placente should have had a go. The pullback too tight. The shot in. Oh! Basturk off the bench. 3 0. What a match! The outside of the right foot strike. Gives Leverkusen the third goal they've been searching for. It's a good build-up. I thought Placente should have had a shot there. But good knock by Berbatov. And then the ball square. And look at the finish by Bastur. Byron that done. Oh, Pizarro didn't know he had a chance to turn and have a go. Samuel is... Cross block, corner kick. Basturk had three goals and one assist a year ago. 
He battled through heavy legs after a summer of World Cup action and injury. Well, here he is today in his first match of the season for Leverkusen, underlining his importance. What a goal. Man with maybe the quickest feet in the Bundesliga. Twist in the plot here this afternoon at the Limpestadion. Bayern Munich and Leverkusen. Full tilt. Six goals. But right now, a point apiece. Bayern Munich playing with ten men. For quite a while now. Zé Roberto red carded. A little incident he got involved with with Lucio. Pasteur, those quick feet on display. He gets the better of Hargreaves and a corner kick for Leverkusen. We are not done yet by any stretch of the imagination. A fourth goal looming in the air. Will someone reach up to grab it? That shot kept out the near post by Khan from Poche. Tell you what, the Bayern Munich defense. Three goals last week to Wolfsburg. Three goals early this season right here on FSW to Hanover. And three goals today against Leverkusen. Allow. That one low. Ramelo. First time shot. Locked. Schneider hit it well. And Schneider will be called for the dangerous play as he's racing back to prevent the counter. Mirazu going down. Kovac is down in the area. Back behind the play. Down in the minute 85. Leverkusen opened the scoring in minute 10 through Carson Ramelow. Roy Mackay leveled in minute 25 before Leverkusen took a 2-1 lead in halftime. Thanks to France's second goal of the campaign, he's since come off. 2-1 was the score after 45 minutes of action. 2-all when Bayern Munich went down to 10 men and Roque Santa Cruz found the back of the net on a great goal. Bayern Munich took the lead 3-2 through Michael Ballack on a nice design set piece. His second goal of the campaign. Just a couple moments ago, Yilarai Basturk, his first goal in his first match action this season, ties it at three of heat. And Yol picking up the yellow card. First of the season for goal, Willie. Five minutes remaining. Face by Hassan Salihamidzic, no one there. Daniel working on Babic. They cut him inside and then out. Hargreaves wins it. Looking to work the one, two. Taken over nicely. Tobias Rao forcing himself through. Maybe because he can't get out of their own half. Trying to leave here at least a point for the first draw in nearly 10 years here. Loose. A foot race here, won by Boot. Hasn't had much work. But he surrendered two second half goals.
Vicente. Here's the first ball. Babich. Hooked away by Balak. Flick on. The long range strike. Held on to by Khan from Berbatov. Well, as I mentioned, up next for Bayern Munich, a trip up north, straight up north, to take on Hansa Rostock in round seven action next weekend. Well, Leverkusen will return home to the Bayern Arena where they won three of four. Excuse me, stay on the road to take on Wolfsburg next weekend. to put together a little two-game winning streak. Construction, minute 88, free kick. Ponce able to draw the foul. Agrees has put in a great effort today. One, cuts it along the inline. Good move, and he gets the foul. And he got the better of Hassan Zalihamizic that time. seconds before stoppage time. Leverkusen, top of the table in the Bundesliga. Looking to get a late goal. Two points separating these two clubs today. And still is likely to be the case as it stands now. Ahead of from Juwan. Drop points this season when leading at halftime. Oh, gets into a good goal kick, one by Lucio. Stoppage time, Hargreaves, the header, spilled for a moment by Boots. Nervous moments as Boots very nearly gift wrapped in this Bayern Munich victory. who's been running rough shot in the midfield. Gets it away. And by Placente, but he gives it back to Sagnol. Tobias Rao. A couple of red jerseys up front. So he waits for the overlap from Lizarazzi on the left. Right foot across. He finds it. He goes down. No call. Florian Meyer looks at his watch, and that is it. A entertaining match to say the least of the Olympus Stadion. Three all the final score on the day. Balak's goal. And more than enough to give Bayern Munich the three goals they need it. But Yildirai Bastuk, the hero, as his goal makes it three all the final score. I'll be back to close up shop after the break. You've been watching Fox Sports World.
After a long week on the job, you've earned a treat. It's Friday Night Fix, only on FX. Two hours of raging reality. This week on FX, check your local listings. Women love perfectly groomed men, but grooming certain areas can be a problem. Razor blades can cut you, and scissors can poke you. Now there's Microtouch, designed to go where razors and scissors shouldn't go. For safe, precise grooming that gets as close as a blade, yet is safe to the touch. The sleek design gives you perfect control, so you can keep the back of your neck barbershop perfect by yourself. Remove unsightly ear hair with just a touch. Embarrassing nose hair, gone like that. Sideburns straight and even. Mustache.